Hi guys, so I have this super quick look for you guys. It is featuring this hair that I just got and I am loving it so far. I'm going to show you and tell you the specs of the hair and the pros and cons with the hair. And I'm also going to do this quick, easy, 15 minute glam look that I have been doing every day. So we're going to go from this to this with show modern hair it is an aliexpress vendor this is how the package came right here up inside the package i had some flexi rods i always like when companies send something extra this is brazilian body wave i was sent three bundles and a closure Tw no 18 inch 20 inch 22 inch and a 16 inch closure this is the closure it's a free part closure looks pretty good so far and here are the three bundles now I was quite confused because when my 18 inches right here and my 20 inches right here and that's a big gap in length um, and I do see a little string and also my bundle seemed a little skimpy all of my bundles were the exact same usually with the shorter bundles I get a little bit more wealth but that is not the case with this hair so I did run out at the top and had to use some other hair that I already had that I had already dyed brown so I'm gonna have to go back in after this video and turn that hair black yeah so as always I use these dumb caps I get from family dollars thanks to my sis Miss Diva like and they look like this with R. Kelly on the front. <laughs> no, just joking. But this is the wig after I made it right here. And that's where I'm showing you right now. Where I had to put some body wave I already had right before I got to the closure. Because I ran out of hair, okay? So, I don't know. I might just keep it like this. But that brown just looks out of place back there. Or I might dye it. But I had to make it work for tonight, okay? Okay, really quick before I go into the tutorial let me tell you my pros and cons i have to be quick because my battery is blinking my pros i love that this is easy manageable hair i didn't have to curl it the waves kind of like fall in place to where they kind of look messy not too perfect but the hair still has structure the hair is really soft there is no tangling whatsoever with the hair so far and i had you know a fairly easy time installing it okay um the closure is free part so you will have to work with that but yeah i love it i love easy manageable quick hair like this that you don't have to do a lot into a lot too now i did curl it at the front to make sure that it would curl and it do like two curls like right here and I probably will color it a little bit later, but not right now. I want to enjoy this black because you guys know I love black hair. Well, it's not black, but not colored hair. But anyway, here are my cons now. The closure did not have extra lace. So when I was sewing, I was scared I was going to um, tear the closure a little bit. But there was a band right there so you can sew on. So I guess that's... That makes it kind of sort of easier. Now, the only bad thing I will say about this hair is when I was um, doing the wefts, um, taking the wefts apart to put the hair on the cap, the hair was really stiff by the rubber bands. Like it has some kind of spritz or something on it, like crunchy stiff. And I don't know what that's about or what that was, but hey, I'm just giving you guys the heads up. Other than that, I don't have any complaints about this hair, honey. It has body guys so when is the last time i did a talk through since this is a very simple video i will do a talk through i'm going to start with my cetaphil oil control moisturizer and i'm just going to apply that all over my entire face next i'm going to take my new favorite the makeup forever step one mattifying base um it mattifies your face before you put your foundation on but it does not keep it matte all throughout the day. So this is not a fix to us oily girls. So I just apply that to four spots, maybe five, and rub it in. Okay, so I already applied my EOS to my lips. I'm not doing eyeshadow or lashes today. So no need for an eye primer. I just put the mattifying base on my lid because my lids do get oily. And I take the oil control. You're supposed to spray this after um Urban Decay be slick but I spray it before also and just pat it 
in my face. Okay, so this is the brow we're going for today. Nothing overdrawn or anything like that. Just something really simple. Um, this light is very bright, so I can't even see myself. So I just pray I'm in focus. I have been using the Jordana Febby Brow in Midnight Brown. Absolutely love it. And it's only like two, three bucks at your local Walgreens or something. Whew. So let me tell you what I got, what I do, you guys. I only fill in the tail end and I drag my color towards the front. Okay, my camera went out, but next what I do is take my LA Girl, blah, blah, Girl Pro Conceal and Fun and my little cheapy brush from e.l.f. And I clean up under my brows with that just a little bit to clean it up. And I always start, for whatever reason, from the end. And I like my end as thin as possible. So I take my clear gel from e.l.f. You guys know I love this. And what I do is I comb through the hairs first. The actual hairs. I comb them over and up. I usually do this before I do concealer, but I forgot. And then with whatever's left on the brush, I drag it to the front. Using the brush off of the Jordana Fabric Brow. So now I take my Ruby Kisses Concealer in Golden Honey. And I make sure before I do this, I take all the excess off the wand. I just want a little bit. And I use this for the top and I just take the one and carve out. I just take my fingers and take that up. Okay, so now I'm going to take my newly favorite, the Lancome 10 Idol Ultra 24-7. And I am using the shade Suede, 500 Suede W. And I'm going to apply this with a Real Technique sponge. Um, I'm going to take about two pumps. And if I need more, I will just add. And I always start under my eyes so I don't have to put that much coverage under my eye with concealer. I just blend this in. Okay, as you guys can see, I have it on one complete side of my face. I'm just going to do the other side off camera and I'll be right back with concealer. Next, I will be taking the NARS Creamy Concealer, which I'm so glad I got for free with my Shopkick because I don't see what all the fuss is about. And it's in Amande. And it's not that, that much lighter. And I'm only going to use this for a little extra coverage under the eyes. I'm not going to put it anywhere else just under the eyes, okay? Because I'm not going for a dramatic beat, just the everyday quick glamorous look big sponge okay to set that I'm gonna use this I think it's pronounced Besame translucent brightening powder I got from Sephora and it already comes with this little um, puffy thing so I'm just gonna use that and this is very expensive so I try not to use so much I think it was like $22 Next, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder in 218. I start using this because of Sandy, the social light light, and I'm very oily. You guys know that. So I'm going to take this little Kabuki brush from RC Cosmetics and just buff this into my skin to set that foundation. Okay, I think I'm going to go get the shade up from this powder. But yeah, that's what we have. Silly, silly. City Color Cosmetics Contour Effects Palette. And I, it's only one of these. I will leave the link below. But I absolutely love it for that dark shade. And I'm just going to take an angle brush. I wish it was a mirror on this. That's the only thing I don't like about it. A little angled brush like this. And I'm going to contour my cheeks with that. Okay, and next I'm going to take a lighter bronzer. It's a matte bronzer from City Color Cosmetics, and I don't see the color on here. And I'm just going to contour my nose with this one. It's a little bit lighter than the one I just had, but not as um, light as the one in the middle of the one I just had. 
So I'm just gonna come to my nose with this with a small brush. Next, I'm gonna take a City Color Cosmetic Blush Quad, and this is the one in two. And I'm gonna use this, and make sure this is matte, cause my skin is broke out real, real bad. Um, I'm gonna use this first pinky corally color in the palette right here as a blusher. I might mix that in the red light color. These are highly pigmented, so I'm just gonna pop that on my apple. And I'm using a matte brush because I'm going to highlight. And so I don't need it to conflict and pull out all my imperfections because I've been having skin problems lately. So yeah. And last on my face, I'm going to take the Missy Land palette and use this gold color, rose gold color, not the gold one. And use that as a high bon I mean, highlight on my cheeks, but I'm not going to highlight the rest of my face because I already look sort of kind of dewy a little bit and that'll just be too much conflicting with my oily skin. So I'm just gonna pat that in right there. You can see it gives me that nice golden glow. Might can take the excess and brush it somewhere but I don't want to put any more on my brush. And that's my glow. Okay, so first I'm going in my waterline with the Milani Supreme Cold Kajal Liner. It's one of their newer ones. Not one of my favorites, but you know I love Milani, so they can't do no wrong in my eyes when it comes to drugstore. Okay, and I'm just going to put this in my waterline, not under, but just in my waterline. And I should have did that first. I don't want to mess up my concealer. That simple and we want big bold lashes without lashes so I'm gonna use my two favorites at the moment which is the Dior uh, maximizer you guys know I got plenty of samples of that and the better than sex now you guys know I love benefits they're real but it tends to make my lashes really crunchy and dry and hard and it seemed like it was pulling my lashes out so I don't know if I'm tripping or if that is what really was happening, but I love Benefits there Real. I guess I'm just going to have to be a little bit more careful in how I take it off because I absolutely love it. Okay, that's cute, girl, if you're into white mascara, honey. But we're going to take the um, Better Than Sex and go ahead and start applying that to our lashes. And I'm going to do a good two to three coats. Okay, feel free to go with a nude lip, but I've been loving this pink from LA Splash in Rose Garden. And there's no need to line your lips with these because they're not going to bleed anyway. So I'm just going to apply this and I'll be done. There you have it. 